Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. Welcome to my mini mandala series. In these videos, I show you how to make a little mandala using just a few things you should have around your home. So I am using a pen. Mine is a Micron PN, plastic nib pen. I have a pencil for some drawing and shading and a blending tool. This is called a tortillon, but you could even use just a Q-tip. This is a coin. I always like to start the center of my mandala with some sort of a coin. And any paper will work. This is just a five inch by five inch notebook, okay? I also have a piece of scrap paper that I'm going to use like a ruler. All right, let's get started. So I just put my coin somewhere on the page and I trace it. And that's the start of our mandala. Now inside this shape today, we're going to be drawing a lotus flower. If you do not want to draw a lotus flower, feel free to put whatever you would like in the middle. Okay, so to draw this little lotus flower, I'm going to first take my pencil and divide it in half that way and vertically. Okay, do that with my pencil. So the beginning of this lotus flower is going to have a teardrop shape. I just made it go right down to the center. And then it's going to have um, two petals, one on each side. In these, I like to make kind of round like that. And then like that. And then we put a little petal in between each of those. And then underneath the lotus flower, we're gonna draw a smaller version of that first um, teardrop shape. And then we're gonna put a couple petals coming out the sides. And we can also add a little petal up here. And then I like to draw just some little things coming down. I don't know why. And then inside these petals, I'm going to put some little lines. Give it some texture. And that's it. Okay, there's our cute little lotus flower. Okay, now I'm going to go around the outside of this circle and I'm going to put in an aura, which is just a line that goes beside another line. And as you can tell, mine are not even, it doesn't matter. And inside there, I'm going to put some little tiny lines. Filling that in, giving it some texture. go back to my pencil for a moment and I put in this beginning of a grid and now I need to also put in an X and divide each of these corners. 
So I can just kind of, I don't have to draw through the center, but I'm just going to imagine that coming out right here and this one here. And I'm just kind of looking to see if these sections are pretty even. Right there. And right there. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of marking. So I'm just gonna use this scrap paper and we're gonna put some marks on our paper up here and on the paper that we are drawing on. So the first one I want to be about the width of my pencil, maybe a tiny bit smaller, maybe not. So I put the little dash there and then I go right across onto my paper. And I'm going to go all the way around. And add this little marking. And this is going to help me put in the next pattern, but give us a guide of how far up we want it to go. Okay, I'm going to pencil that in, connecting those just with little tiny lines, nice and light, giving us that circular shape. Okay, so for this next part, I'm going to go to the center line right here, and I'm going to put a little dot on the bottom. And I'm going to jump up and curl around when I hit this next line. So I'm just going to jump up and curl around. Jump up, curl around. Then I'm gonna go the opposite way over to this line. Jump up and curl around. Then I'm gonna put a dot on this horizontal line right here. And I'm gonna jump up and curl around and touch that one. So I'm gonna go up here, leap way over. That's a bigger section than that one, that's okay. And then jump up and go the opposite way. And all of this you're welcome to do in pencil first if you're nervous about putting down the ink. Now I go to this bottom line here, put my little dot in. And I'm going to jump this way. And then I'm going to jump this way and I'm going to jump all the way over to that line. And I put a little dot on that left hand side. And jump both ways. It is not perfect. They are different sizes, different spaces. That's okay. We had fun making it and we're not looking for perfection. All right, we're gonna make some similar little lotus flower type shapes, but this time we're going to begin with the two leaves on the bottom. So I'm gonna look right here at the center of these two little spirals we made. And I'm gonna have one leaf coming up here and then it can just tuck down in if you'd like. I don't really wanna try to squeeze it in there, so I'm just gonna let it drop down in. And I can do a leaf that way. And you know what I'm gonna do real quick? So I'm gonna add another layer of circle so we know where to 
and these little flowers. Okay, so we have that first marking here. Let's go up about maybe half, a little bit less than the width of my pencil. So right about there. So my flower is gonna come up to that point. So I go to each of these lines and I put my little paper right on the edge of that circle. There was my first line, here's my second line. Right on the edge of that circle, there's my first line, here's my second. You can also just freehand your next line. If you're more comfortable doing that. Okay, now I'm going to connect these very lightly with my pencil because I'll probably go back and erase them when I'm done. Okay, pick up my pen. So I made those first two little leaves and now I'm going to make another one. And this one is going to come up to the top of that line and back down. And then I can put in two more. I feel like I should have made those two leaves a little bit larger. Maybe the next one I will. I'm going to turn my mandala because I want to go to that side section. I'm going to skip the corner and go to the side section. And I start by making those two leaf patterns. And that center one that goes up to the top of that line. And then two in between. I'm going to spin it all the way around and I'm going to go to that bottom section that now I have on top, skipping the corner, going to this bottom section. And I do my two little leaves. Got one in the middle. And those two kind of sticking out behind. I've got one more section over here. Skipping the corners, going right to that side section. One leaf, two leaves or petals. Up for that center one and then one in each corner. All right, look at how good that's looking. Okay, so now inside these, I'm going to do what I did in that um, first little lotus flower. I'm gonna put in just a couple little flicks of my pen in those bottom ones. And then the top one, you've got some choices. You can do some little flicks or Maybe you want to do a line with a dot, and then maybe a little flick on each side. You can decorate it however you want, and I'm going to do a couple of these little tiny ones as well. I'm going to do the same thing on each of these. So I'm going to do my little flicks on those bottom ones. This one I'm going to put the line in the dot. That one I connected, that one I didn't, I don't know why. And a little bit in those corners down here, some on those bottom, the top, and the corners. It just gives it some texture. Okay. Got all four of those. This is a very ornate one this week. I kind of like this one. Okay, so in these corners, I thought we would just kind of repeat this pattern of um, sort of making this kind of a curvy petal shape or a curvy teardrop. Oh, 
Not sure why it decided to move on me. And change lighting. Oh goodness, we'll see if this works. Okay, so I've got this cute little petal here. And in that I'm gonna do the flicks again. Just a little flicks of my pen. Feel free to go in and decorate that ornately if you'd like to. And then on the sides, I'm going to add orbs. So I'm gonna put a, a circle on each side. And I'm going to ink in that area underneath. And I can put little reflections in there as well if I want. So sorry, I'm not sure what's happening with my camera today. Okay, now I'm going to go down to this other corner over here. Do that same thing, put in a cute little petal of some sort and add those circles to the sides. And put that ink in so there's no light showing through. You can do little reflections if you'd like and then those little flicks or whatever you decided to do inside yours. Over here, same thing. little circles and then one more over here so all of my mandalas are my own design but I get inspiration from others and I saw this little pattern of these swirls with kind of a lotus flower coming out of the top and that was on I think Pinterest but um all of us you know that make these we hope that you get ideas and inspiration from them but you also can feel free to change it and make it your own so if there's something you don't like about whatever I put in my mandala go ahead and change it to match what you want to do okay so now, I've got all these pretty little petals coming out. Let's draw in or ink in this circle. So basically, I like to think of this as like a dot to dot, where I'm just going from this one to this one, and from there to there. Just following that pencil line that I made. Okay, sorry about the focusing issues. All right, now I'd like to match that inside one where I made the little lines. So I'm just gonna go alongside this and create an aura for another little circle. Auras can be a little tricky. It really forces me just to focus and try to stay an equal distance from the line. I prefer to do hand-drawn mandalas and not use um, a compass where it draws all the circles for me because then it just feels kind of too perfect and everything is measured out exactly and I'd rather have it be a little more whimsical, a little more personal, so I like to do that. I'm just going to take a moment to kind of breathe and relax as I add in these little stripes. This would also be pretty if you wanted to put little circles all the way around. But I wanted to match that inner border that we did. And I love things that repeat so I don't have to think about being creative. 
and just enjoy making repetitive lines. Remembering to loosen the grip on your pen or pencil. All right, it's looking good. We're almost done. Okay, now I'm going to go from the top of each of these outer petals, so basically where my little lines are. And I'm just gonna draw a little bump from line to line. I'm not going to measure how high to make these. I'm just gonna draw them in. And then because I drew little circles in here, I'm going to add circles to the outside and I'm gonna put in a little reflection. So I'm just adding those where each of these little bumps meet. And this next part you can choose to do where you don't have to, but I'm going to add another little bump. And then I'm going to ink in the corner of each of these and go just about halfway and then stop and then come up the other corner about halfway and stop. And it makes this little ribbon with what looks like a reflection on there or you could ink in the whole thing if you'd like so i make a second bump i'm going to make my second bump on all of them before i forget And then we ink in from that corner up to about the middle. And I leave a jagged little edge. That gives that illusion of a reflection. Pretty. It's such a pretty effect and doesn't take a lot of work. One more. That looks so pretty. So if you ever get done with yours and you feel like you've got a lot of white space, like maybe right in here, you can add some little circles or some bumps 
um, you know, maybe underneath these spirals, you want to add some little circles. Like, feel free to go back and add or change anything. But I really love how this turned out. So I'm going to initial it and then, oh, every time I try to do that, it, it goes funny on me today. I'm going to initial it down here. And then I'm going to do some shading. So shading is just something that I, I kind of just make up as I go because um, I'm not a trained artist. I don't know how to make things look like, you know, shadows or the lights coming in on one direction. So I just kind of add some graphite where I think it might look good. So I'm going to add it underneath this first little petal. And then I can take my blending tool and just sort of push it down into those petals a little bit. And I'm going to go up the sides of that large petal and push it out into those other little petals. It just gives it a little bit of a little bit of character. Okay, then I'm going to go on the inside edge of where I traced my coin. And I take my blending tool and I'm just going to push it out towards the middle. Just creating that darkened little background. Okay, then I'm going to go on the outside edge of that little striped area. And I'm going to push that out and away from that little lined area. It's so pretty. Then I'm going to go up and around these bumps of those spirals. Um, and I could even go in, I guess, if I want. Just follow that all the way around. So the top of the bump, follow it in. And I'm just putting one little line of graphite pencil. So let's see what that does. I'm going to push that up and away. Up and away. Look at how that's just changing our whole mandala. I didn't want to go inside right there, but I did an accident, so I could erase it or I could just let it be. Just softening that and pushing it away from the pencil line. Now I'm going to go to these corner ones and I'm going to go around each of these corner petals. You do not have to shade your mandalas, they look amazing. Without shading, you could also add color if you want. I tend to work in black and white just because I, I don't know, I don't use a lot of color. Okay, then I'm going to go up to these little lotus flowers and I'm going to go around that main petal. The other ones feel too small to me to focus too much on adding shading, so we'll just go around that main petal right now. And then I'm going to go on the inside edge of this lined border. I'm 
we're pushing that up and away from that line. We want there to be some dark and we want there to be some light. So pretty, and then we're gonna do the outside of that, and then I think we'll be done. So I'm just going right along that outside edge, adding just a little line of graphite pencil. And I can push that out. take my eraser and I'm just going to erase these grid lines. There we go. Let me zoom back out again. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty and so just ornate today? Now I'm going to take my graphite pencil that already has some um, graphite on it and I'm just going to go around these little circles a bit. I wasn't going to, but I feel like they just look kind of flat. They need a little shadow behind them. Okay, kind of like that. And then all of my mandalas, I like to add the date down below. And then I just do one or two sentences of a journal entry about what's going on in my life, um, what's going on in the world, what is close to my heart right now. And um, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for this mandala, and hopefully we will see you next Monday. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.